Now, before anyone says I will be biased because I'm Singaporean, saya juga dari Malaysia. This video will be an unbiased comparison between the main battle tanks of Singapore and Malaysia. The Singapore Army operates the Leopard 2 SG main battle tanks developed by Germany, while the Malaysian Army operates the PD 91M Pendeka developed by Poland. Poland's PD-91 tanks are the improved variant of the Soviet T-72 tanks. Singapore operates 170 of these Leopard 2 tanks, of which 45 are Leopard 2A7 variants. Malaysia operates 48 PD-91M. The Leopard 2 tank is armed with 120mm gun and two general purpose machine gun. The PT-91 is armed with 125mm gun, one general purpose machine gun, and one heavy machine gun. The Leopard 2 is able to penetrate up to 750mm at 2km. The PT-91's penetration power is 560mm. In terms of ammunition, the Leopard 2 also carries more. The Leopard 2 requires 4 crew to operate, whereas the PT-91 only requires 3 due to the presence of an autoloader. This allows the PT-91 to have a higher sustain rate of fire, assuming the autoloader does not malfunction, achieving a firing rate of 8 to 10 rounds per minute. While a well-trained human loader can achieve a higher rate of fire, he would eventually get tired during prolonged engagement. The Leopard 2 have a maximum firing range of 5 km with the standard APF SDS ammunition. While the Leopard 2's main gun is also capable of firing the Israeli Lahat anti tank guided missile, there is no indication that Singapore is using this ammunition. PT 91 have a maximum firing range of about 4.5 km. Having the firepower would be useless if the tank cannot find its targets. The initially purchased PT-91 does not have thermal imaging nor night vision, and the Malaysian Army had to upgrade their PT-91M with the French Savant Fire Control System and the D-15 Paranormic Site to enhance their target finding capability. The Leopard 2 comes with thermal sights, digital fire control system, and laser range finder. Additionally, Singapore's Leopard 2 are equipped with the Commander's Open Architecture Panoramic Site configured with different sensors, thermal images, day and night charge coupled device cameras, and laser rangefinders. Both tanks have stabilizers, allowing them to fire on the move. Both tanks are also said to have ballistic computers, allowing them to engage moving targets. The estimated armor thickness of a Leopard 2 SG is about 800mm. The PD-91M's armor thickness is similar to a T-72, but the armor composition was upgraded. The PD-91M is also reinforced by explosive reactive armor in some areas, which decreases high explosive impact by 50-70% to and armor penetration by 30-40%. to do note that not all parts of the tank have the same thickness. Given the superior armor of the Leopard 2 SG and the penetration power as discussed earlier, the PD-91M is unlikely to penetrate the Leopard 2's armor. What do you want, On the other hand, the PD-91M's armor cannot withstand a 120mm APF SDS round from a Leopard 2. Both tanks have laser warning systems. This means when your tank is illuminated by enemy laser, the crew will be notified and can deploy countermeasures. Both tanks are equipped with smoke grenade countermeasures. Both tanks also have respective CBRN protection systems. Both tanks don't seem to have blowout panels that protect the crew against ammunition detonation. The Leopard 2 does have an automated fire and explosion suppression system which the PD-91 does not have. 
The bottom half of the Leopard 2 is also reinforced to protect against landmines. It was also reported that Singapore is receiving Rhine Metal's active defense system. However, there is no verification regarding the installation of ADS on the Leopard 2 SG. While the Leopard 2 engine generates more horsepower, the Leopard 2 is also heavier. As a result, both tanks are similar in terms of mobility. In terms of fuel capacity, the Leopard 2 can carry more. However, Malaysia's PD-91M is often seen with extra fuel tanks, granting additional fuel capacity. The ability to carry more fuel doesn't mean anything if your fuel consumption is high. The Leopard 2 is more fuel efficient. Fuel consumption varies depending on whether the tank is driving on the road or off the road. Other factors also affect fuel consumption. For instance, keeping the tank engine running while the tank is stationary. So do take this with a pinch of salt. Mathematically, the Leopard 2 would have a longer operational range as compared to the PT-91M on a similar terrain. In conclusion, the Leopard 2 SG is superior in terms of firepower, max firing range, protection, survivability, and operational range. I can't comment on a target mining or FCS. I have never operated tanks before. The likelihood of a one-on-one -on -one tank battle is low. In the era of combined arms warfare, tanks would likely be supported by infantry and close air support. Other factors such as intelligence and terrain would also play a role. If you enjoyed my video, do consider subscribing to my channel. The majority of you are not. Also, do consider supporting me on Patreon.